And all roads lead to Rome. We're here at the Stadio Olimpico. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary box and I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. And we've got Champions League group stage action to look forward to as Real Madrid try to confirm their place in the knockout phase. It is Roma facing Real Madrid. Yeah, Real find themselves in a very, very strong position where if all goes well tonight, they'll confirm their place in the Champions League knockout stages. No real surprise there, to be honest with you. They played well, they're in good form, they're experienced as well. And they are a team, Lee, known for their aggressive high pressing. Well, absolutely. That takes a lot of hard work, a lot of organisation, force the opposition to make early passes. The weakness of it, if you beat the high press, you can get exposed at the back. Lee Dixon, there's no getting away from the fact that Real Madrid are Champions League royalty. Absolutely, Derek. There's certain clubs around the world, Barcelona, Manchester United, teams like that with huge histories. And Real Madrid are right up there. They've won everything. And here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois, the Belgian, will be in goal. Rafael Varane plays with Sergio Ramos at the back. And they line up tonight with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And they get the ball rolling in this Champions League group stage confrontation. Roma unable to keep it. He had the sixth sense to know what to do and win it back. Job done, ball one. El Sharawi has it. Carrying a genuine threat here. Now El Sharawi. It's with Florenzi. Well, clattered away. Well, as we've already made note of, here is the scenario for the visitor. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Cross in a fruitful position. Surely. And the goal scorer is Tony Cross. Totally single minded. Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does, and he scores. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. So, underway again with Real Madrid in front. And it's with Inzonzi now. Costas Manolas. Ferrosi. This is Kroos, Modric, Bale, Bale's through ball, and on the basis of that effort, quite clearly, he's not wearing his shooting boots at the moment. Well, it was a strong effort, used his laces, but uh, screwed it well off target. It. Real Madrid moving the ball with purpose. What can they do from this position? Genuinely thought they might cash in on that occasion, but haven't been able to do so. 
Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. All ball, no doubt about it, and he's been a bit unlucky. It'll be a throw-in. Very good use of advantage there by the official, letting the play carry on and then only subsequently handing out the yellow card. Yeah, absolutely, and that's what the fans want. They want to see the game going on. They don't want to see it stopped or something like that. You can always go back and book the player later. Carvajal, Modric. He's got the right idea with that pass. And Bale's making headway. Not all that hard to deal with crosses like that. failed to hold it this is Kroos it's all about translating threats into goals inspirational goalkeeping from Thibaut Courtois that's what he's there for keep the ball out the net brilliant Now the delivery, and he's clear his lines. Moving through the gears. It did look as though it was rather a fruitful avenue, but nothing doing. Edin Dzeko! A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. And firing it into the area corner once more excellent save from Thibaut Courtois corner kick played in well, lacking in direction with that header he was under duress yeah the defender just put him off a little bit but it's worth an effort if he goes in he's a hero now Casemiro the ball with Luka Modric this is Gareth Bale. Look at Modric with the pass. He might profit from here, you know. So it's going to be a goal kick here. winners of this great competition Real Madrid and you always feel Lee that no matter the stage of the competition where Real Madrid are concerned you're witnessing history well absolutely their history would suggest that they need to win every game because the pressure is always on them and quite rightly so and very very close to my heart because they came over in 99 and played in my testimonial so I love Real Madrid very generous of them they chose well with Diego Perotti and Edin Dzeko well great read there to intercept we've been waiting to find out now we know a minimum of three added minutes here Bale they don't normally need a second invitation to give it a go on the counter Gareth Bale and Kroos Opportunity it is. My goodness, Lee, the goalkeeper had his work cut out for him, but delivered. Yeah, that's what they do. Look at that save, a brilliant effort. Cross with the corner. An attempt like that, never likely to trouble the keeper. No, he's got positioning right, but it was a poor shot in the end. Well, you always want to stamp your ticket for the knockout stages as early as possible in the group phase. And if results stay as they are now, it will be job done. Well, it will do, but being comfortable sometimes breeds complacency.
Folks are ready for the start of the second half. And Real Madrid currently in front. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. Real Madrid have given it away. It is a fruitful forward run. Powerful enough, but not precise enough. No, not accurate enough at all. He had other options on as well. This is Varane. Dominant first-half display from Tony Kroos in this game. Well, Derek, you're right. He has played well, and goals win games. He's been a joy to watch in this form. Sit back and enjoy him in the second half. And a double substitution it's going to be. He had the sixth sense to know what to do and win it back. Tony Kroos, full of ideas on the passing front. Goalkeeper's ball, the cross delivered too close to him. The ball with Luka Modric. Bale, Marco Asensio. Carrying a genuine threat here. The tackle crisp and accurate. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. And it's with Inzonzi now. Now Casemiro. Here is Marco Asensio. Well, can he make this move count? Now El Sharawi. Inzonzi. Just wanted to get it out of there. Tony Kors. Look at Modric. Dispossessed there, Modric. Useful looking ball. Still there. Bad challenge. And now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. And the referee has determined that that is a bookable offence. I don't think you can think anything else after that challenge. Delivered into the box. No real threat from the shot saved by Courtois. will be a free kick to Real Madrid they will now make use of the substitutes bench Here is Marco Asensio. So plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here. And the flag has gone up here, offside the decision. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Modric. Now, what can he do here? And attempting the through ball. And a goal it is for Real Madrid. They are on a victory course. Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does, and he scores. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? It's with Kolarov. It's with Diego Perotti. 
He's just a thorough reader of the game. And there we saw it. It's with Danny Ceballos. El Sharawi has it. Real Madrid moving the ball with purpose. What can they do from this position? Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. With their noses in front in the second half. What will be the thinking in the cap, Lee Dixon? Well, with a narrow lead and the clock ticking away, it's so easy for the Real players to lose concentration. Asking the referee how long to go, looking over at the bench. Staying focused is a skill. And Stephen El Sharawi. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. Now Casemiro. Lucas Vasquez. Luka Modric. Modric unable to hang on to the ball. And so that is going to be that. The final whistle here. And they're in a pretty comfortable position because not only have they put to place in the knockout stages, it's still very much on for them to finish top of the group league. Yeah, absolutely. Going through takes the pressure off a little bit. But the big teams, the good teams, the good players press on and finish top.